Here, Scotty! If you guys like BMWs, you already know that they're money pits. Money pits. If I had a BMW, it probably wouldn't be any of these ones. It'd probably be a Corolla instead. <laughs> these cars are fast. Lots of technology. It handles really well and goes around the corners. But let me tell you this. This right here is a money pit. Big V8 engine. Probably only got six miles to the gallon. Ha! And if you didn't know, they have rod bearings. Make your engine blow up at 20,000 miles. You didn't even see it coming. My Toyota Celica is still running at 500,000 miles. Ha! If you thought that they made bad cars back then, they just made them worse, but in a better color. <laughs> this old one has a dual clutch transmission. A whole bunch of moving parts that just break. This one though has a standard transmission. I always say get the standard transmission, especially in the Corolla. Ha! <laughs> I know what you're saying. You sound nothing like Scotty. <laughs> but you know what? Let's review Corolla right now. Back in my day, we used to change brakes for twenty dollars. This probably five hundred dollars. <laughs> Good luck paying that one. At the end of the day, these are big money pits. Don't subscribe to this channel. It's absolutely miserable. Subscribe to a channel with Corollas, Silicas, Sequoias, even a Tundra. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was a uh, my Scotty voice. <clears throat> so, uh, Scotty was here. He was just talking crap about my BMWs, but uh, here's an update. E92 M3 is in the garage. The G-Wagon is still in pieces. The F80 M3 did really well when we took it to Vegas. I'm going to be redoing our bathroom, so I tried to opt for carbon fiber. But, you know, I guess white is okay. So uh, here's a bit of an update with the E92 M3. Um, I'm finally putting these rear splats on, and I think it's going to really finish up this carbon fiber side skirt look. I had purchased a pair a while back and it didn't look as good as this. This looks like real carbon fiber, so really pleased. So, my GoPro is uh, acting all crazy and... Unfortunately, the other side splat does not fit well at all. This makes me really mad when I buy parts online and it just doesn't fit. Um, but, here's also a few clips from the other weekend. Um, for some odd reason, my GoPro stopped recording, uh, like, sound midway through. And I was supposed to do a vlog regarding the E92 M3 on long drives and how well it does. And we went to some pretty nice areas, saw a lot of cool cars, but... You know, there isn't any sound, so I really apologize. Um, this vlog really is all over the place. Um, but the side spots are on. Um, honestly, um, just kind of disappointed. Um, disappointed in the GoPro and how bad the SD card is, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to try and reset, reformat it. But enjoy, guys. Like and subscribe. And uh, look at Tusi. She got a haircut. Oh, yeah. Fresh to death, right? So... Today we're gonna go take a trip to Laguna Beach and uh, we're gonna take this car and uh, my goal is to show you guys how good of a weekender this car truly is. It is comfortable. How are the highway MPGs? And is it still special enough to take on the weekend and feel like you're driving something special? Because it's really hard not taking this car today. but. For the sake of this car, I'm going to let it stretch its legs. Oh! Oh! This sounds so good! I don't got gas again! <laughs> what the heck? Okay, daily driver, definitely not good. I, I used this car for work like twice. And it's down to empty and I, I almost filled it up like three quarters of the way but what's weird is when you have a quarter tank the light turns on because they don't know if you're about to be in M mode going ham so Scotty here if you want a good car drive a Corolla you're gonna get better gas mileage 
Those BMWs are a joke. They're just gonna fall apart. <laughs> So uh, one interesting thing is, like I said, the gas light will turn on even though it's not empty. So let's see how much gas it takes to fill up. She is looking so good though. Woo! Man! Ooh, dang! Who that? <laughs> Okay, with uh, maybe 30 miles to the, t to the tank left, this is how much it took. So full tank, 300 miles right now. And what I'll do is I'll reset once more. And let's see how this car does with the long trip. These are the infamous cup holders. And as you can see, they're pretty sketch. I think they're cool, but they always break on these cars. Come on, Mazda, speed! Speed up! Now, if you modify uh, the stock exhaust, say if you do a muffler delete, there's a lot of drone, especially around 3,000.